UNEP conducted a countrywide survey in 2023. The survey, carried out by the NAPE department, targeted 35,349 primary 3 pupils and 35,081 primary 6 pupils. The assessment focused on numeracy and literacy in English. The performance targeted learners in rural areas focusing on these subjects. Three, numeracy. We have about 58% learners who are proficient and uh, that is an improvement over what we had in 2018 because in 2018 we had 55% and uh, one district was red, that means it had less than 25% of, of the learners rated proficient and still the same. Primary three learners in rural areas scored only 9% in numeracy, which is below the national average. There is need for uh, participation of parents, especially in the, gov school, in the government schools, because we have realized that parents in the private school are holding school administrators accountable. And that is not the same that uh, the same that is being done in government schools. So we are recommending that parents in government schools, children are in government schools, should also do the same. Some stakeholders have expressed dissatisfaction with policymakers who fail to act on research findings to improve the education sector. We have, as NAPE, we have continued to provide the framework for addressing the gaps. So packaging our message. Packaging our message is what is going to create the impact we are looking for. UNEB Chairperson Celestine Obua has called for increased funding to support the activities. Responsibilities that need to be done in order for people to appreciate as a dashboard of education sector in the country what UNEB must do, including the NAPE assessment, which requires funding, which unfortunately in this particular financial year, uh, we had quite drastic cut in the funding that we have been provided to carry out some of these activities. The survey was conducted across 1,770 schools, including 30 schools hosting refugees and eight special education needs schools. Lydia Chomkama and Juman Samba, UBC News.